What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Rebuilding Juventus. If you're excited for this episode, hit that like button down below and subscribe to keep up to date with all the daily content on this channel. Down below, let's be a channel as well with Do I Survive on there, go check that out as well. So today we're on the page of the Champions League final match because we're seeing a quite a final match today because not to show you really. Um and we're one game of camera only. We're not gonna not gonna, not gonna go into the highlights of it. It's only one game. Uh beat um Lazio. 4-1. This is one of the rare occasions where when we got a chance, we started taking it. Um, and, this was, and it was refreshing to see it. Milik got three goals. I started him today. I, I thought I'd try and just give Varic more of a rest. And then I took him after the got after the guys actually, of course. And then just some Varic came on and said, you know what, I'm going to score as well. So um, we just took our chances um, in this game. Over that, I suppose the other games, we've not taken them. So the lead table looks like this. We can go top if we beat Milan. Because, where are they? They drew with Inter. This is it's insane that we can go top of the table with seven games left if we get beat, beat East in Milan. I still think it's a long shot. I don't fully trust this team yet. But the good news is, it looks like we're going to get top four secure, which is what I was mainly worried about about a month or two ago. So, let's get this game played. Kicked off against um, FC Copenhagen. And, yeah. Paredes is back. Do you want to play him today? Yeah, we'll play him. Uh, we'll play on the bench. I'm not going to start him. I can't afford to start him every game. But 2-0 up. The key thing in this game I would like to see early on is an early goal for us. Make it 3-0 to get this tie over with. Um, honestly, it's the, it's the game where I'm sat here and I'm like, well... From a YouTuber video point of view, you want an exciting game. For me, I would love just a game where we get one goalie at the start and then the game's absolutely dead for the rest of it because then we just get to the semi final. Uh, which is against Barcelona, if I remember correctly. I think Barcelona beat Spurs in their, in their, in their quarter final. So, we're 2 up. I wanted at least a two goalie going to the second leg. I've got that. You obviously want more. Um, but here's what it is. We've got the two-goal lead. If we get a third goal, we, we get the first goal in this second leg, I'll be more confident than than I would be if we could see the first goal. But we'll see what happens, though. We're playing well at the minute, um, but we've got to see if we, if we, if we, if we can maintain it. And in case it will cost us, just back that clear. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Uh, instant free kick highlight. You know what's coming here, don't we? What a save. Um, and the guy who took the free kick, I got my eye on him for a transfer. But at the moment, he didn't want to leave, it. He didn't want to leave anybody for, for anybody. But we'll, we'll scout again. Forget it for Dusan Vahic. Oh, good save. It's basically, it's the, it's, the, it's the game of two free kicks at the minute. Uh, both nearly gone in back of the net. But we've got a, a corner, half from the corner kick as a result of that, which is, could, mean, could mean something positive here. And it's been cleared. Kostic has missed her. Did, did, did he just miss the, miss the header? I think he did. Free kick, Dean Rear, dinks in the penalty far post. Bremer's in there, and oh, he's a. I think it, I, I was I was going to say a mad scramble there, but I don't think it actually fell for anybody in the penalty area other than the defender. I don't think they had a chance to get there. Dean Rear with a corner kick, curls in to the near post, cleared. Gas Eric Garcia is going to hit this. Did he just do rebo? Hang on, no, 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 no. Did he just do what I think he just did? Did he just do what I think he just did? Yes, he did. He did a Rabona. It's not a great animation for it, but watch. I'll slow it down as much as I can that makes it viewable. Watch. Watch. Okay, it looks like a Rabona to me, that. It might not be fully, but it was close. Hilarious, absolutely hilarious. That was if that was a if, that, if, if that's a Rabona, or that's a really weird animation. It's one of the two. Could be both. Um, but yeah, um, could do better. But honestly, um, I also get through this tie to get to the semi final. Honestly, that's what I'm after. Get this, get to semi, get the semi final. No injuries. Ideally, get a goal second half. Now to make it three one, three nil. Sorry, no, that that'd be a good. One. Can we get a, a goal just to, just to kind of seal this tie? Do some Vlahic. 
edge of the box towards Sandro, and he always got caught there. In the box was Locatelli. Di Maria! There we go! I feel, okay, Di Maria can't be offside. It's Locatelli that's the one I think they're looking at. Um, great hit from Di Maria. Please say he's onside, Locatelli. Please not offside in this. Goal given. That's probably the game and the tie over. Not the game over, the tie probably over. Locatelli was definitely onside. Nice pass to Di Maria. First time shot. There we go. And we're going to the semi-final of the Champions League, which is surprising given now we've performed in it this year. But I can't see his front away now. He says, instant highlight to Sticko in Haven as he says this. Long ball. Jump. Second ball. Well done. See? First time pass. Just not to get... Previously, we were taking touches. Well, we still, we still might. Taking a touch there. He just played the first time pass out to Cadrado and it stops that problem. Again, just... I know you're trying to get to, to, to the winger, but you've got to be careful. Again, that's sloppy passing. That's, uh, we are, we're capable of doing that still. And cleared. Sandro bring it down. Doesn't look okay. Not, not okay. Worked out anyway. Kostic just drives past the, the defender. Needs support of the penalty. He's got it. If you can find somebody. He's got someone in the penalty, but he's kind of... Okay. Oh. It, no, it hasn't worked. <laughs> it, it looked like it was going to work. They didn't. They, they, they didn't. Um, that was a very weird highlight. And... Not much commentary from me either. Okay, this game's over now. Or the time's over. We're going to make changes to as many as I possibly can to players just to get them off the pitch to rest them for um, the game against Milan, which is a big game now, even more so that we can maybe nick the title, which is ridiculous um, that we're still involved in that. And that's how I can make changes. But yeah, just get those guys, get them in full off, essentially. Uh, we're through to the same final. There's no way we've, we messed this up now. Well,. It's not been an exciting game overall, but it's a solid performance. It's a classic with performance. Go ahead, get the lead, keep the ball. No major heart attacks. A um, couple of a free kick was the closest they came to a goal, really. Um, job done. Full time. If it's come here, then nil. Ventus won. 3 0 aggregate. Food semi final. Let's see when that semi final is actually going to be played. Uh, I'm assuming they'll tell us now, given that we've already given the qualified. We'll get 9 million for that. Thank you. Um, I see if it's concerned. Yep. So Unai's been rearranged. Um, so we'll see when they're actually going to play that semi-final. Okay, so the semi-final is taking place a bit after these games here. So um, I think we do Monza and Torino off camera next ep off camera, then Barcelona and Sampdoria for the next episode, then Barcelona and Fiorentina. The next episode after that. So that's basically the episodes right there. So, but first of all, we've got Milan to play in four days' time, and that's a big game. But I still don't think we're quite there at level we need to be to beat, to beat a team like Milan. But we'll see. I think we'll see a defeat to be honest. So, a bit of news. Um, we've we've challenged for Champions League already. So within the stated time frame, head two is ahead of schedule. That's cool. Um, this is the guy I'm looking at signing. Obviously, he's not he's not interested in joining right now, but I've got my eye on him. I'm scout. I'm gonna get a scout report on him. Well, I say I've already got a scout report. I mean, get a full kind of uh, sign a scout. Yeah, just for three months. Just keep scouting him. Uh, be there every game. It might help out. But that's a guy I've got my eye on as a right wing right wing signing. So some more good news: Torino and Roma both dropped points. So a win today would. I don't think it would secure trans football, but it would basically do it, uh, which is what I was hoping they would have thought. That they'd... It was really difficult. To just, 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 it was really difficult at one point. It's, it still is. We're still, well, no, I can't talk. It was a difficult thing to work out who was going to be where to keep an eye out for the results for them. Um, so them being kind of at the top four, basically being more consistent, including us, and then they'll start, and then the bottom, then the third and the fifth and sixth teams is kind of like staying where they were has kind of helped out either results okay they've dropped points perfect because the previous is like this kind of mismatch of everybody um but yeah anyway enough of that title challenge somehow uh i still have reservations over this team against a top side like this though they did beat lazio but it's a very close game it could have it could have gone either way we could have had one hour we could have had one of our games we don't take our chances and they did and luckily for us, it went, it went our way in that last match. In case you're wondering why Kostic is starting, injured to Kostic. He's not out long term, but he's out for a, a decent amount of time. So, Milan at home. Honestly, to say we're... A, to, the fact I can say this next sentence is, is mind-blowing. A win and we go top and we need to write two points. Based on our performances at some point this season, that's incredible. Bremer. 
Corrado. Di Maria cuts inside, finds Kostic. He's got Sanjo in overlap. He's got the pass to him. It's slightly in the hill, but he's got there anyway. Sanjo's in. Oh, it's half a chance, half a chance. But that pass again was slightly near to Sandro, wasn't it? Cabrera curls it in. They're off our post. Those are hard to score. So I think that's a really difficult chance for Liao. Um, I was about to say it's half time, but there's a highlight right at the end of this. Uh, we're, losing, we're losing the battles in midfield again, which what we did last time against these. We weren't battling the, the ball in midfield at all. Again, that ball the top should not be on. Yeah, I don't know if it's a match engine thing or our fullbacks or our fullback our fullbacks thing, but that ball on the channel, it keeps getting through and it shouldn't do. Um Yeah, he's given indirect free kick there. Yeah, um half time nil nil. It's that ball when I don't think you see it's that ball from there into this area here, it shouldn't be on. The it's only one guy there marking, it's come across and mark the ball. Um that the performance out there. It's my, it's, it's, it's just it's just a simple, it's a ball they get the ball and they go over to our fullback and fullback just lets it go and we're not playing offside so I don't know why that keeps happening I think it's probably a fullback being bad at marking thing more than match engineer I think anyway well this is a rip rolling incitement of a half isn't it um, um, let's bring on no I can bring on really to change this because K's got a knock I'm I don't want to bring Pope Brown. I can't, I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to bring him on. I'm going to, I'm going to regret that. Um, I know I am. Um, the little can come off a good round. I'll just want to get first legs wherever I can, really. Both fullbacks can come off, actually. we just not got... To be fair, they've not had many clear chances either, other than the one for Bria Diaz. But just... I don't just Pogba in his games, but I need to bring somebody on to try something different. Oh, come on. Look at the work rate from him. Just not even trying. Tackle him. Well on the Seglio. Careful with this. Get it wide. Just Pog was there. The work with Pog was there is absolutely woeful, isn't it? It's absolutely borderline criminal how bad he is on work rate. Uh, I'm not sure he's like this in real life. I've not, not watched him. For, no one's watched him for a year, actually. He's been injured, hasn't he? Um, Di Maria. Get your head up. He's in. Di Maria! Di Maria! Oh, wow. I was thinking, please pass the ball. Please press the ball. And then he got to the edge of the box. I thought, right, you've got to go for it now. And he's put the ball in the back of the net. Juventus won. Milan nil. Okay. I mean, it's a bit fortunate, that. But it's a great one from Di Maria. And he's just... He just kept going. And I love the composed finish. Okay. This is interesting. This is very surprising as well. Free kick for Tonali. Dinks it in. Cleared. Rabio. Just back, wax it clear. Needs to be a bit better than that. Try and get the ball into control if he could and shield it. But again, I'm trying to ask things that actually can't do, I think. I stood to our defence. Bob was trying. Get out to him. Don't, don't, don't sit deep. Clear it. Rabio, get your head up. And nobody's there. Drive, right, win that header. Again, just work hard, lads. Oh, just take goes out of position. Back to keeper. Back to keeper. Back to keeper. I don't understand why he's trying to hit that ball clear. He's just got to... Yeah, that's just, it's just lack, of, lack of awareness. Oh, that's so poor. It's a great strike, but it shouldn't have happened. This here, back to keeper. There's no reason to go forward there at all. And then it's one mistake, and then he hits it back of the net. No reason. I know he's tired, but he's got a keeper right looking at him. Back to keeper, and it's, an, and it's, a, it's not a goal. But that's, I wish, you, the, the only problem I've got, the problem with this game is, I can't have a go about that specific incident with him. That's what I want to see going forward, is like, be able to say to him, that one incident there when you could have the ball forward, but oh, back, back to the keeper, that was stupid. But you can't do that. Seglio, Rabio, over the top, Pogba's in, Pogba! He's not, it's it. Hit with power and it's a goal. Well, that's a really hard game to analyse, it's not over yet to be fair either. Pogba, Danilo, it's a hard game to analyse. I think we were just one stupid mistake away from winning it. If Garcia does the simplest thing and nods it back to his keeper who's no one with no pressure on him, we win that. Um, 
That's the, I wish I could have a go about that. I really wish I could. Because there was nobody near him. I just don't get it. Why? I know... I know we're going to say he's knackered, but it doesn't matter if he's knackered. He's not, it, it's, it's an obvious decision. Just nobody near him, just about to keep it. it. That shouldn't matter. Under pressure, I could maybe understand it, but not like that. That's a bad mistake from Eric Garcia. Um, great strike, but it shouldn't have happened. So it's, you can argue, again, not a great goal. Um, I'm going to have speak to him about one player last game. Okay, I want to maybe say his passing wasn't good enough. Um, no, just I wish you could say that instant for that goal it should have been better, but you, it's not that in depth, unfortunately, because that's the one point. Everything else, I was fine with it. Just all he's got to do is head it back to the keeper, and we win that match. We're wasting time at that point as well. It's game over. But you look at it the positive. Look at that form. Last time we played them, we were absolutely... Actually, last time we played them, 2-1. We lost to them. And we've been... We've, we've not... We've, yeah, last two games, we've lost against them both times. This time, we should have won it. And also, nice to see very variety in goal scorers in the last few games as well. I do send them back in the goals in, which you want him to, of course. But other guys are getting involved, which is great to see. And it's nice to see a bit of a change there. So, like I say, uh, back for... Uh, Barcelona and Sampdoria, then Barcelona and Fiorentina. They're your next two episodes, uh, unless if it happens, which I doubt it will. Um, but yeah, we are we're going to get top four. It's going to happen relatively soon, I think, because I think then these lot keep dropping points. But we're coming the title. But I still think we're just not quite there yet. But we'll see. Fine margins. That Garcia header doesn't go in that direction, or probably puts them back in net when he's got a clear chance on goal when he's fully fit. Who knows? Different game. There's fine margins. Big games usually decide things, don't they? But back for the two big uh, game against Barcelona and Sampdoria. If you have enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.